Hello everybody and welcome back to Will Wire. Today we are playing Pokemon Scarlet. Well, Momo is playing Pokemon, uh, Violet? There we go, yep, Violet. Did we already read these? Yes, yes we did. Alright. Now, so in the last one we came to Area Zero and I caught a Screamtail. Now we've unlocked all the locks and we just need to get down to the main lab. That there was definitely something off about the presser just now, right? Maybe it was just a little dramatic flair to get us all jazzed for more adventuring. <clears throat> what? That got you jazzed? Yeah, maybe even big time jazzed. You need to go to see a doctor. That's just not right. Say, I'm pretty sure that call was really... Uh, never mind. It's nothing. What's wrong, Arvin? You seem kind of down. No matter how things turn out, I'm counting on you to see this through, Willowire. I'm pretty sure that that was just a pre-recording. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I got super excited. I thought that was a triple segment. It's like, you can't even find those, so how is that possible? <laughs> it almost looks like it, though, huh? I have not seen a single shiny since I got down here and it makes me sad. Found another Screamtail. I really want to know if Screamtail has a shiny. Oh, look at that. They were waiting for me. That's horrifying. I just noticed that that Screamtail is floating, but those Screamtails are not. Oh, actually, that one in the back is. Apparently, they can float. Oh, they're mad. They're angry scream tails. They're everywhere. They are not a rare Pokemon, that's for sure. There's a bazillion of them. Is the entire place stuck in that? Hey, go away, you. I'm trying to read this. There's some sort of plate inscribed with a mysterious sy symbol. Try as you might to get me, Screamtail, you will not. Dark Terra Shard. That's my first one of those. Some of them it's kind of hard to say if they're shiny or not, simply because the shine from the crystals. I'm not too concerned with exploring right now because I figure, you know, I'm going to have to explore this place after anyway. It also doesn't help that I don't know what the shinies look like for most of these. Oh, it just stuttered there for a second. That was weird. Well, everything over there is distorted. Oh, no, wait. No, no, it's definitely distorted. <laughs> get out of the way, Penny. You're going to get me in a battle. I don't want any battles. Wow, that whole building is inside the crystal. Get out of the way, Penny. So many of these things. Fortunately, they don't seem too apt to attack me. There's another double segment. To be honest, I wasn't even sure you could find... Oh my god, Gabite just committed suicide. There he goes. <laughs> I see a TM. It's a very quiet place. Mm -hmm. It's a pe peaceful and majestic place where people come to explore and die of Screamtail attacks. Hey, wait, have we seen the Pokemon that attacked Arvin? I think that's the lab, but it's covered in water. Let's see what's back here first. Nothing. Oh, there's another way down there from over there. Wow, this cave is huge. There's a Pokeball over there. But I'm just gonna... Oh, never mind. I don't have a choice. Have we finally reached the deepest part? 
We made it. Ready to see if those legends are of treasure down here are for real? Heh. <laughs> yeah, right. That's just fluff they write to fill the textbooks. Wrote it, Dodo. Yes, there's a shiny screen tail. Red eyes and the backwards tail thing is purple. That's going to be hard to find. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? But wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? The crystals here in Area Zero possess a particular energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. It is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestrialize. So this entire building's been terrestrialized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. The professor implied something important about Terra Orbs just now. They're made from the crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed, though not many know it. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gate to the Zero Lab should uh, now open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted by, uh, with the dangerous Pokemon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Prepare yourselves well, then open the gate. You've got me and Will Wire here. Doesn't matter what we're up against, we'll be fine. Heh, <laughs> well then, that puts my all my worries to rest. Bah, chills. Bah, Humberg. Bah. Hey, it's a shiny. It's I'm actually kidding. not that hard then to spot the shiny because their eyes are so huge. It's true. Like it's a deep red. It looks. Let's like. find a shiny scream tail. Hold it. You're not gonna find a shiny. Hold it. Huh? Why? We're finally on the cusp of getting into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we also have Coriden help? Yeah, if Coriden were like how we first saw it in the Inlet Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see a battle. Uh, but it hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero. And it can't enter its... Oops. But uh, it's really strong. I know it is. I ate... Or it ate all those Herba Mystica we found, too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of its ball now, maybe it'll be able to find its family too, right? That's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. Hmm, I don't know. Go on, Willow, I like Coriden now. Yeah. Alright, come on, Willow, I. Now that we've got Coriden ready, it's time to open that gate. Well, this he actually came out. Right. I wonder what would happen if I said no. And then just one just hops over it. Hey, oh. look, it's another Karate. Oh, only it's got the foof out. It's all spikied out. Oh, that's a big Karate. Does it evolve? The family reunion. <laughs> Whoa, no way. I don't feel like this is as happy as he thinks. Hmm. No, something's not right. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Let's blow it up. <laughs> Aww. Huh? What's wrong? Are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so quickly? Are you that numb? <laughs> Apparently. Are you joking? There was nothing heartwarming about it. We were this close to getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? <laughs> Just look at Coriton. Poor thing's terrified. Guess that other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, that other Pokemon was giving off some real bad vibes. 
<clears throat> uh, not that you should worry anything, uh, a thing about any of that. Once we get you back into the, your battle form, I'm sure you'll be going toe to toe against that jerk. If you know, if you want to. Sorry, I guess it, it doesn't really help, huh? Do you think that other Koraiden was one of the dangerous Pokemon the professor warned us to watch out for? But didn't the professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come out from inside? You mean from inside the gate we just... <laughs> well, they didn't bow Koraiden. What the? <laughs> I do believe I still have the, the big elephant. I forgot to look. We're surrounded. And it's pretty obvious they're not here to roll out a friendly welcome mat. There's no way we can handle this many. And don't tell me, they're all ancient Pokemon? We've got a little disaster on our hands here. Look, even that fellow's ready to bail. Then I guess it's my turn. I've been waiting. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I can take Come a little wire. Let's do this together. <laughs> He's beyond stupid. I bet you they're not even going to let me catch them, are they? Probably not. Honestly, I don't need anyone's help. I got my toxicity. Why are you looking that way? You don't want that. Well, you guys were circled, so I mean, just a little confused. Let's see, can I? No, I cannot catch anything in this. That's well, nice. I apologize, Lightning Rock, but I cannot hit him without hitting you. How dareth you? I'm going to let Lightning Rock have a chance at survival. You missed. You missed. I gave you a chance, and you missed. He better smack with you instead. Nope. Of course not. And it was a critical. I let you live, and you got me hit. And now I'm going to get hit again because he rose his speed. Nope, never mind. Nope. Look at that. I don't have to worry about killing it. All right, you don't have to hit Lightning Rock. It was a blessing in disguise. I don't know. I still took damage, but I didn't need to. That's what I get for trying to be nice. <clears throat> Wow, they're strong. Now this is a worthwhile challenge. I'm sorry, but the little mushroom guys in the back. <laughs> I'm glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. Gas bass. Da da da! <laughs> yeah, why are they coming at me? Well, wire, help me out here. I like how all these other ones just hold off. They're like, just give me a I, second. They wait their battle. turn. Yep. Those little hair thing. They're spiky. They're gothic. So wait, they've evolved to look like Pokeballs, but they're from the past and already look like it? That's a very good point. Because I thought that was their whole point. Like, they evolved to look like a Pokeball so they wouldn't get caught. Isn't that the way they were supposed to be? I thought that's what it was. A Brute Bonnet. Its name is Brute Bonnet. At least I heal them between each. I mean, if I'm wrong, then by all means, someone correct me. But if that is the case, why do these Pokemon way back from the past already look like a Pokeball? <laughs> one, one HP left. And put it to sleep. Night, night time. <laughs> well, I think I can kill it with a discharge anyway. I think it was just not very effective. Yeah, it's just not very effective. <clears throat> oh, well... <laughs> it doesn't matter. My teammates just can't handle it. They just can't do it, Captain. Getting lots of experience. Yeah, true. Should have brought some of your little baby uh, Pokemon. The ancient past must have been terrifying. <laughs> Oh no, they're running away. <laughs> yeah, and if those Pokemon get out, we're going to have a gigantic mess on our hands. We got to go after them, Penny. 
Why me? <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, get, hold on, Nimona. And why do I get the feeling you're enjoying all this? Give her a break. Her ambiance just went... I hope the two of them can handle their part. No. But at least the crowd's been thinned out now. Guess it's up to us to deal with what's left. Let's go for the strong looking one first. <laughs> okay, Miss Drevis, what are you now? <clears throat> I feel like it looks at you of desire. Look at the eyes. Also, how is this Pokemon even in existence? Fluttermane? But really, <sighs> how is this one even in existence if it comes from human spirits? How far back did these come from? Because I played RCS Legends, which was quite a ways back. And there was no Fluttermane. Wow, that was easy. Fat cat! I'm sorry I shook you. Your brother stood on me. What are you... See, the power of friendship had us perfectly in sync. All thanks to our titan hunting together. Still scared, mm -hmm. huh? You were you might have to face that other one of your kind? Well, then let me take some of the burden. These stragglers should be nothing. Me and Mimosa can take them. No, no you can't. Barf. Barf! <laughs> so, Willowire, you take your partner there and go take care of business. To defeat the hunt. Glad to see you've got some faith in us at last. Mimosa can't wait to battle either. That's freaky. Raiden. You really ruined my whole childhood, you know. But it's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You've got amazing powers if you just use them. And you've got us too, so so, so don't you even think about losing to that jerk. I like how his eyes are all like Terraria pixeled. Yeah, I noticed that. Be brave, stand up, and fight. I'm not gonna lie, I was really hoping he was gonna give him like another half of a sandwich. Hmm. <laughs> Here, have a sandwich. Grinding, right, you ruined my whole childhood. Take my sandwich! <laughs> oh, oh, there's a side? Uh, apparently, he blew through the wall. Oh no, does that mean you could be facing him? <laughs> I guess I can't read that book. Yeah, well, let me through. Human presence detected within the Zero Lab. Oh, she's alive. Um, I thought she'd be an old lady. She looks interesting. Tribal. Very much tribal. Deactivating sleep mode. It's a robot. <clears throat> Hello, Willowire. Thank you for coming. No, back to your ball. So that's the other one she caught. That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Raiden fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. Oh. Well, <laughs> remind the poor thing. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Sada. I am an artificial intelligence a professor created imbued with her memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. <clears throat> the real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. Oh. The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than for the Koryan to survive and thrive. That is why she threw herself in front of your Koryden in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Willowire, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. 
I like how he just goes right back to smiling like nothing ever happened. His mom died. Is this Disney? Hmm. He's got no dad either. It he might be out. Disney. His dad walked out and his mom is dead. And he doesn't even know it. <clears throat> In order to better defend the Zero Lab, I have developed what I call the Pokeball Lock System. Once it has identified IDs associated with specific Pokeballs, it can. The rest is too faded to make out. How did it get out of its ball and out past the gate? I don't know. Booster energy. That's a new one. A lot of this rock stuff. This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Willowire, it truly is a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, her physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I am afraid that this fact may be difficult for her son, Arvin, to accept. <clears throat> I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? The time machine is the device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. <clears throat> when she was alive, Professor Sada had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age, you might call ancient Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw ancient Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body, built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have uh, made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? The original professor had a dream of a world in which ancient Pokemon might live alongside present day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon's powers seem to stem from a primal energy of the ancient past. And this energy has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this modern age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the ancient Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Great Tusk. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the professor, and yet I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original professor ever devised. Willowire, you have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength uh, you have gained to destroy the dream Sada once cherished. I appreciate your willingness to help. We have reached the lowest level. It's so pretty. The disco ball in there. Behold, this is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. You know, honestly, I thought that she just went back in time and aged to become an old lady. Alright. It's not doing anything. I wasn't expecting them to take a sharp turn to Disney Town there. 
To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Scarlet Book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. She loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. If you try to stop the, time, uh, the machine, I will most likely attack you. Oh. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine, bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldea region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal. A.K.A. Save your game. Oh, it's saving for me. I don't really want to disable the time machine because I want more Pokemon from the ancient past. But I suppose I don't have much of a choice. ID confirmed. Professor Sada. Access granted. Initiating. Emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Shutdown. Command overridden. Reinitializing. It's up to you now, Willowire. AI Sada switching to sleep mode, activating offensive protocols. Climb! Please defeat me. Mm. At, at last. At last my dream is within reach. And you're not getting in the way. <laughs> AI Sada has initiated a battle. Against her will. What the heck is Slitherwing? Bull Corona, what happened to you? It's a beast! I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. Boom, bitty burst! Well, I'm afraid that you don't have any choice of me getting in your way. My speed? But that's Toxicity's favorite. This is the power of the ancient past holds. Splendid, isn't it? You're not even real! <laughs> uh oh Ooh, that seemed painful yeah he was faster do you imagine you can be best the wealth of data at my disposal with your human brain yes like that you had a butt thing not a butt thing brute bonnet that was yes I need to switch uh, Brute Bonnet, Brute Bonnet. Let me think. Uh, it's the Mushroom. Yeah, I know, but he's... He's going to be kind of tough for most of mine. Except for this one, obviously. Mm. I like how all of her Pokeballs are Master Balls. Feel that wrath. Now this is interesting. Child, do you actually understand ancient Pokemon's weaknesses? What, is that what you want me to do? Is just hit you all with weaknesses? I can do that. Sandy Shocks. Is it the sand I castle? I don't think I have anything for Sandy Shocks. I mean, I could use him. Yeah, I guess it's the best I have. Ooh, unless he uses a rock type. Oh, what's the chances of that? I'm pretty sure this will work. Oh. 
That is not what I thought Sandy Shocks would be. That is not sand at all. <laughs> That's horrifying. This is not going to end well. No, I'm not. It's not. I'm not fast enough. Yes, that little bit of HP is going to bring me a long way. Quick attack ain't gonna do crap. Um, well, I know what he's gonna use. But it's not worth switching to my others. Alright, well, we ain't gonna just lay there and take it, so. Let's get some of my health back. Yeah, that's all that coming. But I at least damaged it before I died. I don't think I have anything for taking out that one. We'll just use him. I try not to use Skeletor because I feel like I'm cheating too much. Yeah, that's three down. Fluttermane! That one's a dark weakness. Oh, but if I put that one out and it gets hit, I could just leave him. Nope, nope, we're gonna... Wait. Aha! Oh, the bonus and none of the negatives of Gengar. This has quickly become one of my favorite Pokemon. Oh, it's not super effective. I thought it would be. But that was. Yeah. How dare you! Well, at least it didn't kill me. It must be weak to Psychic. Or maybe Bug. Screamtail, that was a psychic type, but I can't afford to keep him out, so let's go back to Skeledurge again. I now have one dead and two sacrifices, but I've only got two more left to kill. It's just so cute, how could it ever be strong? Shadow Ball! Oh, I didn't die. That's a first. Oh, my head, but you. Aw. Punch you know again. Alright, I think there's only one more. Roaring Moon. That sounds horrifying. I don't know what Roaring Moon is, so I'm just going to keep Skeleturge. Everything is proceeding within my expectations. I'm afraid the probability of you winning is zero. So, it's five to one, and you're... What? Ooh. Is that a Salamence? That's a Salamence, and everything is not very effective, except for Hyper Voice. Ooh. Well, this could end badly. This could indeed. My Skeletor doesn't stand any chance. I could... I could save Skeledurge, or I could let it go and see what happens. Uh, 
Well, toxicity's never failed me before. Oh no, he was faster. You suck. <laughs> Just as calculated, a critical hit to your Pokemon. It's time to simply give up, child. I literally only need one more hit. I was hoping that my Toxtricity would be fast enough, but it wasn't. I don't have anybody fast enough. Could simply revive Skeledurge, I suppose, but... Woo! Don't miss this time! Impossible. Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you really? The, the thank you for everything. The time machine has finally... She has finally been stopped. You're really not my mom, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. So proud of you, my... Sorry, you were alone for so long, our M mom? Security system failure. Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. Threat to time machine detected. Whoa, 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 what's going on now? Is another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. What? What's keeping the time machine r running truly all the professor cared about? Locking all Pokeballs except those registered to Sada's uh, ID. Wait, what? Program initializing gathering terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children. Oh, God. This is too much for you. You must run. Coriden was registered to her, right? AI saw it disabled. Paradise Protection Protocol initialized. You are not getting in my way. You are challenged by AI Sada. Nope. Paradise Protection Protocol. But my Pokemon are pretty much dead. <laughs> Plus, it's an all Pokeball block. Except for the ones registered. Oh, gosh. Yep. Uh... I figured that's what I had to do. Time for your rematch. He's so much smaller than the other one. The other guy's also all frilled out. And standing upright. And the last time we faced Gryden, he didn't have all those sandwiches. Sandwiches, sandwiches, barely even two, man. Dun dun dun. 
the music, though. Savage power. Okay. Collision course and your terror blast. Oh, let's use terror blast. Or wait, what's this one do? Yeah. Well, that's a hundred and that's an eighty. So, what was that one? No. Can't terrestrial eyes, so might as well use this one. Oh yes, because that's going to do anything. Probably because I'm supposed to win. Oh my word, this is going to take forever. It changes to his battle form. Let's go, Karen. You got this. So much power! Man, this is literally going to take forever. You will fall here within this garden paradise and achieve nothing in the end. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles to my goals will be destroyed. I don't have bulk up. Why do you have bulk up? Because that one's supposed to be angrier and, and just tougher. It's taken long enough to beat this dang thing. This looks like it could be bad. Uh, hang in there, Willow Wire. Well, I'm not really taking any damage, but seriously, why is this like this? The data say I am superior. Fall and become a, fo a foundation upon my very dream. I can barely read that. It was so messed up. Ooh! Oh, ouchies! He tucked it out so I wouldn't feel sad. This is some bad juju. Mmm. Um. You took that hit like a champ. You can do this. I know you can. I guess you have to heal. Ha ha! <laughs> I have 39 of these because I never use them! This is a rare moment of you using potions. Well, it's not letting me use any other Pokemon, and for some reason that one's way more powerful. Even with your sandwiches. Oh man! Can we really not pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Well, I got full health, so. Hey, hey, Willowire, your Terra Orb's glowing. Oh no, now, huh? Now! Willowire cried and terrestrialized to finish this off. Well, I have just a move for it, too. Okay, we get it. All my stuff went up. And it's super effective now, all of a sudden. Can't believe I wasted a max potion. Oh, well. At least I'll be full health. It's not like I didn't have 39 of them that I've never used. What am I, a dragon fire? Show him you won't be pushed around. Time to terrestrialize and get in some super effective hits. I'm already terrestrialized. He only has one health left. I don't think there's much of a worry anymore. <laughs> You defeated the Paradise Protection Protocol. Why does losing make her get injured? I don't know. This literally is almost taking me two hours. You did it! 
it it's not going to berserk anymore. How how very astounding. To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes, a completely unforeseen outcome even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how difficult your own past may have been, I believe you will be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now, with pride. I thank you, Willow Wire. I thank all of you children. But I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Huh? Well, what does that mean? I am sorry. You know when I was watching all of you on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied your free- er, you for- oh, your freedom, holy moly. Uh, the way that you came together working in league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength and to better yourselves throwing all you are into your battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you never ceased to seek nor to fight for a treasure all of your own. Uh, and the way that you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I too might be as free as you all, free to seek out that which I might treasure. Above all else, not bound. Your own treasure. As long as I remain here, the time machine will not stop, for I am inextricably connected to it. So I've made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the ancient past that I have dreamed of. What? You can't just leave now, right when we finally reached you. I am not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see that ancient world for myself. Th uh, is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? Hey, doesn't that mean she can stop all this from happening? Arvin, I am sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and so I understand better than any. Your mother truly loved you. You, you can't. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No, I suppose you're right. I am I'm sorry. Arvin, Coriden, Willowire, it is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Mom. Mommy. She could totally go back in time. Last her out time, and then save her. Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. But seriously, she could have stopped this whole thing from happening to begin with. How could you just go? Mom. Arvin, you okay, bud? <clears throat> yeah, somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that the thing was fake, but it, when it said my name using her voice and wearing her face, even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just, I... <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That's that's okay. I guess Coriden is sad too. Oh, but that battle form, how cool is that? It's so strong. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm going to die. Hey now, let's not skip over the big win here. Willowire and Coriden just saved all of Paldea. Th that's right, you both did amazing. Thanks, Willowire. Yeah, that's my bud Willowire for you. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor's gone, I bet she's finally having a real fun adventure of her own in the past. <clears throat> 
Yeah, thanks, Penny. Um, yeah, sorry. What should we do now, Willowire? You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's make our way home. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road home and get a little more fun out of this adventure. I don't really... Sounds great. If we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. Hey, Willowire, not you too. Oh, all right, fine. I guess we're doing this. Well, that's an interesting ending. But I feel like that's not the end. Or is it? Is it actually the end? Oh my god, a voice. Okay, so I guess that means I finally actually beat this game. I do have a little bit more I can do, obviously, like fighting the trainers and catching some other Pokemon, doing those little unlockable areas. Um, catching those new ones that came out. Did I just say that? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, there's a few more Pokemon to catch, a few more trainers to beat. Um, I wonder if that means that Professor Sada could come back, save herself, and I wonder if Arceus Legends has anything to do with this game, because you know how the kid gets transported back in time at the beginning of the game. I should probably go back to playing Arceus Legends again and see if that, you know, says anything, because I mean... When you go to the school, it shows some of the professors from back then that are there. Or did she go back in time and then join a separate timeline because she changed time on the way through? So it would be like a split dimension thing. Like the Spider-Verse. Or is that what happened in that? Well, not really. It was more like the Marvel one. Uh, what was it? It was one of the last Avengers ones. Where they go back in time to get all the different infinity stones and stuff. And it basically makes a split in the timeline. And they each go their own path. I wonder if that's what happens here. I guess we won't really know until the next game comes out. And who knows when that'll be. They've been doing it pretty rapidly lately. I mean, this is the first one I've actually fully completed since I started doing this again. I mean, like... I think... The games prior to Black and White, I beat all of those. Every one of them. Fully. Unless, no, yeah, I did. And after Black and White came out, I never beat Black and White. I have Black and White. I have Black and White 2. I don't think I've ever played Black and White 2. But I've never beaten them. And I have Diamond and Pearl, the new ones. Never beat it. Played through it for a little while. What I've played on my channel for each of these games is what I played. I stopped. And it was mostly because they weren't getting views anymore. Uh, if you guys want to see those, I can go back to those. But I also, like, it's like I kind of went through the game and then it started to become tedious. The game started to become repetitive, like Sword and Shield. I liked it at first. I liked the way they changed things up a bit. But they also did it in a way that it's not quite the same so it wasn't as fun this game sure it's not the same a hundred percent but they kept it enough of the same and enough new to keep it going to keep it interesting with a little bit of breaks in between but yeah i'm very curious about this story this is the first story that's ever actually been to me like a big story story like it had a purpose and it could go somewhere it could continue, or even have prequels, sort of like Arceus Legends. I heard there might be another Legends game coming out eventually. So, 
Should I tell you what happened? Sure. Professor Sada, AI, went back in time. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we left, and we all decided we're going to get snacks. Snacks! And that's basically the whole thing. I love that they just had, like, this huge thing, like, Wow, ancient Pokemon from the past, let's about them, oh my god, they're gonna kill us! Whoa, with the Coridon! Whoa, you, your mom's a, is a robot! You want snacks? <laughs> that's essentially what happened. But I, I think that they could definitely do a story after this one. Hey, Ed Sheeran's in this! Did, you needed to catch scream tails. I already caught a scream tail. You should have caught me one. You can catch your own scream ah! tail. I still need to catch all those other ones that escaped. I don't even know how I'm supposed to catch those if they've all escaped and then we stop them Especially from escaping. Especially if there's actually shiny forms. Yeah. I mean, I don't entirely know how I'm supposed to go and get those unless those are the ones that are behind the walls. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Thank you, treasured friends. And didn't we already have credits when we beat the Elite Four? I don't know. Hey, look, we got our snacks. And pictures. The end. I swear, if this game boots me out to beforehand. Excuse me. No, that's fine. I wasn't playing a game. Calling students to the director's office. Master Willowire, Miss Nimona, Master Arvin, and Miss Penny. Director Clavel would like to see you in his office. Did we tell him? Yeah. Huh. Looks like the hero's finally here. Would you join us, Master Willowire? We're in for an earful, aren't we? Guess we'll find out soon enough. No need for concern, you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. I merely called you all here to discuss your fine achievements in this year's treasure hunt. You shut down the professor's time machine and thus prevented the ancient Pokemon from running rampant across Paldea. Your actions were truly astounding in every regard and I couldn't be prouder of all of you. I said the backwards, whatever. Though your decision to enter a strictly off-limits area was admittedly regrettable. Heh, <laughs> you've got us there. But technically we didn't because we got permission from Sada. From Robo-Sada. Maybe yeah, she don't we count. Did, we didn't know that. Maybe she don't count. However, since this was necessary to protect Paldea and its precious ecosystems, I am willing to overlook that particular point. Whew. So we're not getting raked over the coals after all. Oh, before I forgot, uh, forget, Master Willowire, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends has received one already, so this is for you. I got a Master Ball. What the heck am I going to use it on? I already caught everything. Your legendary scream tail. Oh, and about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you a short while ago. That gift is one we only or we bestow only upon students who achieve truly remarkable feats. I expect you to honor what that badge represents by striving always to serve as a model for your fellow students. Splendid, such enthusiasm will surely take you far in life. And Master Arvin, I was so sorry to hear about the professor. You have my deepest condolences. Ah, uh, well, yeah, it was pretty rough when I found out my mom had died. But weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear now, for the first time in ages. In The Great Creator, I got to learn a bit about my mom's research and what she was trying to achieve down there. I guess if you're building something as mind-blowing as a time machine, that takes priority over showering your son with attention, huh? All I know is I'm done feeling like some uh, lost little kid. Done. Time to say goodbye and move on. I'm going to enjoy every last day till graduation with my buds here and my boast of course. Well said, Master Arvin. You truly are your mother's son. Of course, I must remind you that you've nowhere near enough credits to graduate. <laughs> You'll need to study frantically to catch up, but I have every expectation of your success. What? What? And let us not forget the other good news. Our academy has a new champion. Though we sadly cannot make your valiant deeds in the great creator known to the public, your new champion, Rake, at least should be celebrated throughout the whole school. Oh, I know how we should celebrate. We should hold a Pokemon battle contest. Seriously, could we not? 
Classic Nimona. A Pokemon battle contest, you say? While your own vested interests in such a venture are more than apparent, Miss Nimona, I think it's a fine idea. But please understand that a large-scale event will be quite beyond us. We have many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. Pardon my intrusion, could I... Or, I couldn't help but over here. I figured it was her. No, she ripped off the wig and it's his mom. <laughs> The Pokemon League will, of course, happily lend a hand in organizing this contest. La Primera? Well, well, a most kind offer, Chairman Greta, or Gita. I do everything in my power to nurture young up-and-coming talent. Though, that's not to say only the youth have promise when it comes to Pokemon battles. A former gym leader, the developer of the Pokedex app, this academy clearly counts many skilled trainers of Pokemon among its staff. As such, my suggestion is as follows. Students and staff should compete for the title of strongest trainer at the academy. Whoa, we get to battle the teachers? You'd compete too, right, Premiera? Is that even allowed? The chairwoman is not part of the academy, right? Actually, she is. Uh, I think she's the chairwoman of the school board as well as the Pokemon League. Wait, for real? I mean, I knew she was on another level, but wow. Thank you for the invitation, Champion and Nimona. I would gladly take up your kind offer to compete alongside you all, but I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight with work that I simply must attend to. Aw, can't you free up some time somehow? Well, I suppose I might be able to participate if Champion Willowire would agree to lend me a hand with my work. Excellent answer. Much obliged, Champion Willowire. To get straight to it, I would like to go out and inspect Paldea's various gyms in my stead. Are they fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiration for all those aiming to achieve champion rank? Or has her brilliance started to fade? To find this out, I ask that you bring your full might as champion to bear against each of the gym leaders and test their power or prowess in battle. They are all trainers of exceptional talent, handpicked by me personally. I do not expect you'll find any cracks in their armor, but, well, consider it a formality. This will also provide the perfect stage for you uh, for your first appearance as the new champion. Since all the gym leaders will still be expecting me to carry out the inspection, I imagine they'll have mustered their full strength. I dare say they might be more of a challenge when you uh, face them before. You get to have all-out battles with the gym leaders? Man, I'm jealous. Now then, on to another crucial matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny here how to patch the weaknesses in our league point system. Um, but there's a bunch of anime I've missed that I was <laughs> going to pinch. Thank you in advance for your willing and eager cooperation. Uh, I mean, I'll do, do it. I'll help. Let me help. Excellent. Well, uh, well, we'll... Leave you all to it, then. Come now, Penny. Hmm. So much for binging on animes. This is awesome, Willowire. Show this inspection thing who's boss so that La Primera can join our tournament, okay? And enjoy taking another swing at the gym gauntlet while you're at it. I'll take care of filling out the forms and other administrative stuff so the ball gets rolling on the tournament in the meantime. I say, it's wonderful to see all of you showing such initiative. You each have a critical role to play. Penny assisting the league, our new champion inspecting gyms, Nimona arranging the event. Give it your best, everyone. And you're going to cook food. Guess my role is so obvious it goes without saying. Study hard to pass. <laughs> okay. My word. I'm already over an hour, but at least we're out of that. All right, so... We're going to do one more thing. So go to a Poké Center. We're at overtime now, so I have to do this quickly. Oh, if you select Karine while the main menu is up, you can now have it changed between its battle form and its ride form. Okay, that's nice. Poké Portal! I caught a shiny! Yes, Momo has caught a shiny. And she's going to trade it to me for the data before it evolves. Apparently, it's going to take freaking forever. I spent so much time looking for a shiny. Goodbye, Earthworm Jim. 
Alright, so this is what we had wanted to show you, was the shiny Varum. Our shiny list is starting to grow. But, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. We... Did just... Oh, the back button. <laughs> the, the back of the controller is very sensitive. Uh, this... This game apparently still has more for me to do. We've defeated multiple parts of this, but it's still going. So, I guess that means that we will definitely have some more episodes of this at some point. I don't know when I'm going to do it. I am going to consider this completed for the whole uh, doing episodes to complete the games. I'll probably do some in between, sort of like I do with the Skylanders, whenever we're feeling in the mood for it. But as for the do these games event, this one's going to be considered done. Sort of like... Uh, Hyrule Warriors and Spider-Man 2 are considered done. Uh, with that said, we've only got like four more games left, I think, to do, to finish off all of those, and then we'll do another Do These Games event. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, hit that like, subscribe button. I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye! Bye.